Hello everyone, we are back once again at Anderson Pens, this time with Lisa Anderson, whom I have asked to provide us with her five rebel pens. I, I don't know what rebel means in this case, probably non-fountain pens. Is, are we agreeing that they're non-fountains? Yes. Okay, so this is, what's your definition of a rebel pen? A non anything that Brian wouldn't like. Oh, anything that Brian <laughs> wouldn't like, okay. I have not tried to guess these, but I do have one, because Rebel, who knows where you were gonna go with this. I do have one pen that absolutely has to be on your list. I'll have Justin put it on the screen right now, okay. just to see what happens. All right. Their pens are in front of her and they're covered. She's gonna surprise me with them as we go along. So you don't have any real predictions this time? Just the one that Justin okay. put on the screen, because you talk about that pen all the time. Okay. So, I mean, hopefully that's one of your Rebel pens. <laughs> All right. Well, when we were talking about this, we were talking about all the different levels of pens, and I said, but what about, like, outside-the-box pens? And so Rebel, Rebel. Rebel was... Well, you've got enough. Yes. Yes. All right. Well, you like pens. I surprise, do, but, you surprise. know, sometimes a fountain pen is not always the best option in certain scenarios. I always say everybody needs a ballpoint, mm -hmm. and I'm coming around to everybody needs a roller Oh, ball. yes. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. You ready? I am ready. In any particular order? Any order you like. Okay. So this one is my personal pen. Oh, yes. I love this. Uh, what it's was kind the name of, of that color? This is shark blue. Shark blue. But shark it's blue. pretty much the same color as the walls in both stores. So I like to call it Anderson blue. Anderson blue. Uh, this is the ST DuPont D initial. Um, and it's not a fountain pen. It is not a fountain pen. This is a ballpoint. A ballpoint. Okay. And so you twist it to extend and retract the refill. Uh, it's a good size in the hand. I love the finish is matte. Feel that? Yeah, it's a beautiful pen. Yep. Beautiful. The, the nose cone is very interesting because it's so elongated. Um, so it doesn't look like your standard boring ballpoint. No, it's an, it's a gorgeous pen. It's got a nice weight to it, as all DuPonts do. And uh, so this is one of my favorite non-fountain pen pens. All right. uh, good choice so far. I appreciate your <laughs> we'll approval. We'll see where this goes. <laughs> all right, number two. The Parker Jotter XL. I own that pen. <laughs> okay, it's a good pen it's then, a good right? Pen. Um, I love that it's just an easy click. Yep. Uh, I love the XL body. It's a little bit fatter that's, than the regular that's Jotter. That's why I needed an XL, because um, the, the Jotter, although you like thin pens. I do like thin pens, but this is certainly that's not probably fat. Thin enough. No, yes. that's not fat. It's just um, slightly larger than and, a Jotter, and I just like the color. And this is the monochrome, so you've got the rose gold trim as well as the rose gold body. And I just really like that, quick and easy. And that's, it makes a fun little sound if you were in meetings. Like if you're on Zoom with Steph and Justin, you yeah, can just, just click it and drive them nuts. Put it up I here know. next to the microphone. <laughs> Justin loves um, that. But like I say, uh, everyone needs at least, uh, everyone needs a ballpoint. And this is actually one of the ones. I have more than one. Not one of these, but more <laughs> than one Do you have ballpoint. a collection of jotters? I probably have three. So okay. three is a collection I according is, to your husband. Yes. Yeah. All right. So Parker Jotter, the ST DuPont D initial. Uh -huh. My the pen I uh, was thinking has not come up yet. <laughs> That's the one. The pilot <laughs> Acro Ball. Yes. I have to tell you guys, I love you this pen. You don't have pen. to tell anybody because you tell everybody I all the time. I love this pen. <laughs> yes, you um, really It comes in several pen. colors. It was actually hard to choose when we needed one as a tester in Chicago. I took the rose gold, although the navy was really talking to me, and the red is really pretty. This is not a ballpoint. Or is it a ballpoint? It is. Okay. It uses a special Acro Ball refill, which is um, like a gel. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Just a great slim pen, quick and easy, just like the Jotter. Because you talk about these all the time. I love it. When we're not it's talking about fountain pens. probably one of the pens I use the most in Chicago when I am, uh, when I just need something quick and easy. And we have a whole display of them on sale at the cash wrap. And so people always ask, do you have a tester? And uh, so I give this to them. Uh, we also have the G2, and I love the refill on the G2. I'm just not a fan of the um, the silicone, the squishy. Okay. The ones that I will grab if I'm standing at the register is a Caran Yes. 888, which I own. Yes. Or a Polyball, a Faber-Castell yes. which I also own. I, I own too many balls. <laughs> <laughs> so you've got a little collection I going I guess I on. do, yeah. All right. Yeah. Next, um, I'm going to cheat and go with two. Two? They're the same. Oh, okay. I well, guess, yes and no. Is that cheating? So the Palmer, oh, yeah. the Retro 51 Rollerball in our uh, exclusive Palmer, I love. We helped design this. 
It's thing. inspired by the um, peacock doors, the Tiffany peacock doors at the Palmer House. I have to see them every day, twice a day, if not more, if I go get lunch and come back. Um, I just love it. And um, Retro makes amazing rollerballs. Uh, but I'm cheating because I also have a very, 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 very special one. Oh, what's that? Machie. A machie? <laughs> well, you are cheating. I am. But so you, what you're saying is to the top five rebel pens, you've, oh. you've brought six pens. Such a rebel, right? I am a rebel, yes. Rebel. So there's that. Um, that is so, uh, very, very, and it came in a gorgeous lacquer box. It's very rare. Um, I was going to say this is not just that's available. Very, no, um, no. That was, that was actually a gift. Something very that special. That was very special. Very special. Yes. So I have to mention that. Uh, but that's that doesn't beautiful. leave... My apartment. Where are we? <laughs> Normally, doesn't <laughs> no. leave my apartment. But okay, I did so bring it to Chicago with me because I love it. These two only counted as pen number four. Yes, still have Retro one. 51 okay. Rollerball. So the last one, I don't think you've seen in person. No. Oh. There's plenty of pens I haven't seen in person. Oh, oh, oh something you have in Chicago? I love this. Okay. Um, in fact, since I discovered that the blue is being discontinued, I think this may just make it into my personal collection. This is the Auto Hut. This is the one that you went on and on and on I about. love this thing. It's so blingy. Yeah, that's a beautiful pen. Yes, the D04, um, the Design 04. This is the blue, the wave that is blue. striking when you spin it like that. I know. It's got this. It looks like waves. Yes. With uh, platinum trim. Absolutely. And it's a ballpoint. It is a ballpoint. It does also come in a roller ball. Oh, it does? Yes. And just the top here yes. turns, so it's like a It's just you know, gorgeous. It's so shiny. It is definitely not for the shy. Um, and it's a, a little heavier on this end. feels good in the bit. hand. Yeah. Feels it's good. just so, so well, pretty. Now I understand why you went crazy for these pins, because yeah. you, I remember on the podcast when you and I were talking about them, I had, this is the first time I've seen them. Um, I had not seen them, and you just went on and on and on. And it was, it's unusual for you to get that excited about a pen, so yes. Well, you know, you see so many, and That's it's right. like, okay, this is pretty, it this is to be a good unusual. size, a good weight, whatever. This is just damn pretty. So it's this gorgeous. this may actually become mine because the blue is being discontinued. Okay, there, so there's the blue wave and there's... The wave black. Okay. And then there is a black wave with rose gold and then a solid oh, black with rose gold trim. choose from. Yes. But, but the, the blue, blue is going just away, talks to so me. that has to yes. be yours now. Suddenly, that made I'm, the decision I'm, for me. I'm disappointed we've run out of Rebel pens. This is fun. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else I would have picked. Um, you know, I like the Lamy Safari and the Lamy All-Star ballpoints. Do you? They have that little black accordion looking. I like the, the Lamy 2000 non-fountain pen pens. Yeah, the roller ball is cool. Yep. Okay. The, the, and they all match. Yes. <laughs> and yes. It's a nice set. All I right. like that. What else do you like? I like anything that writes, really. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep, but yeah, I mine. didn't realize how many ballpoints I had until you started pulling ballpoints. <laughs> <laughs> like I have one of those, or one I of those, or one of those. I don't think I have any expensive ones, though. Uh, and by expensive, I over $20. I don't think I have any, okay. any ballpoint over $20. Well, you have a Palmer. I do have a Palmer. That but was that a was gift. a gift, yes. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to watch my Machie. Yeah. Yeah. I would watch that. Mm -hmm. It's beautiful. At one of a kind or just extremely limited? Uh, extremely limited. They did make more than one of each. Um, this was um, very special. So that was a gift. Very nice. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Thank See you, you for having time. me. Absolutely. We'll find something else for you to talk about next I'm time. I'm sure you will. Bye. Bye.